how's it going guys? Ty Sigur here and today we have a ROM review for the Glassino GG7000 the ROM, to, uh, the ROM today to be reviewed is Xenon HD ROM is based on 4.2.2 Jelly Bean and it's ported over for our Galaxy Note so if you have seen my previous video I, I will divide this video again into three sections first is functions second gaming performance and third battery life of the ROM so let's get so let's get started shall we the first session of the day which is functions hey YouTube welcome to the first section for today which is the function section of the ROM as you can see this ROM is running 4.2.2 means you get most of the sweetness of the update such as um, widgets from the home from the on the lock screen you get customizable unlock options then you get you know all the normal stuff which comes from Jelly Bean, and I would like to say that this ROM Xenon HD is the first build, meaning there are some bugs. However, it doesn't really disturb you. So, as you can see, smooth scrolling, even though it's the first. However, expect some lags, and you got your apps widget, and you know all the normal stuff which you can find, and you also get a navigation bar. As you can see, navigation bar. In this ROM is highly customizable in like mini ROMs but you know a bit more customizability and what again what sets this um, ROM apart from mini ROMs is the customizability of the ROM you can change the build prop change the you know the interface and stuff like that even the small small stuff you can change I'll show you I'll show that in a moment as you can see the moment I enter into the settings you can see full black because I um, added dark xenon hd which makes battery life much better um, before going into rom settings launcher and themes are exactly the same the launcher that is using i mean the this rom is using the tribute chat launcher which you know is exactly the same throughout all roms you got your themes which is download downloadable from play store then in your ROM settings, it's divided into four interface, status bar, system, and extras. Going into general, I mean, going into interface, you'll find general UI, navigation bar, and all the other stuff. In general UI, is again general. As you can see, you can change your boot animation, or even if you don't like the boot animation at all, you can disable it. You can have custom uh, career label, you can have um, Wi-Fi name, normal notification behavior, and count, and your opacity, you know. Then you got your navigation, uh, sorry, navigation bar. You can see here, um, you can change most of the settings. You can change the icons. You can even change the, um, sorry, the toggles here. You got your menu location, your menu visibility, when or how do you want the menu buttons to appear? Let's say you want to play a game and you don't want this this thing to disturb you while you're gaming you can disable it you got your menu arrow keys and you can even change the color you can also make it glow a, a different color and you can also have navigation button transparency as I said earlier this room is highly customizable you got your lock screen you can enable unlimited as you can see you can um, have uh, unlimited widgets all widgets volume wing buttons and allow lock screen rotation and this is customizable you can add it through one of these empty spots you can either change the icon or choose an action and going to power menu if I to long press the the wake button you will uh, come up your power menu your, your, all of this customizable you can even remove the power off you got your screenshot let me just show you uh, power menu as you can see everything is enabled except show expanded desktop um, this is how it looks like if we were to let's say if I were to disable I know aeroplane toggle I long press it and you can see the aeroplane toggle is gone <coughs> and then you get your pi control for those who want to know in-depth um, pi control functions please tell me in the notification bar and I'll try to you know uh, give you the best as you can see in this launcher it gives sorry in this ROM it gives you the the uh, your battery your time and other 
uh, statuses and you've got your toggable, I mean sorry, changeable um, Pi controls. If I were to open the Pi control section, you can even choose the trigger area, the Pi gravity, the Pi size, Pi style and item gap and you know very customizable and you got your ribbon button but it's exactly the same I don't know waste time your time and my time to figure this out and you got your battery this is all customizable meaning that the battery is all customizable you got your battery color you want to change the color you want to change the text color you can even have a circle animation speed if I were to charge it and you'll have a circle going around like a, like an awesome thing then you can change it whether you make it fast or slow, you know, stuff like that. You got your battery bar location and the style. You wanna make it into a circular you make it into a circular um, option like me or you wanna make it into the normal jelly bean thing is all up to you. You know, other stuff. Then you got your clock, status bar and toggles. All of these customizable uh, toggles you can choose the style whether you want to make it um, traditional like jelly bean I mean sorry like ICS or even gingerbread you can have uh, how many toggles per row whether five or six and you can have theme you want light or dark if you're a light person you can um, switch this to light and you know and you have also un enable fast toggles meaning that which side you want to straight access your toggles mine is at the left side but however if I were to change it to the right side you can see if I were to pull this down it will straight give me the navigation um, sorry the toggle bar and we're entering the probably one of the most you know the most uh, awesome feature of this ROM which is system you get your system tweaks LED but of course does not sell, uh, does not support LED you got your prop model your sounds and vibration I will just cover system tweaks and prop model mainly because we don't have a LED and the sound and vibration is exactly the same so tweaks sorry I'm not saying that sound and vibration is the same, I'm saying that in every ROM, both of these are mainly similar and I've seen it's exactly similar. You got your system tweaks, you can make it faster or you don't like some, you'll, you'll see that it's making it your, your phone slower, you can disable it and then you got your read ahead value, your clear your cache each time you boot, however this thing is known to create boot loops so I disabled it. Then you get your prop model which, which, um, this, which, sorry, which, uh, changes or uh, yeah which changes your build prop you want to see you want to um, if you want to have a longer battery life you can extend the Wi-Fi scan interval you got your uh, telephone ring delay how long you want it to be in between each delay uh, each uh, let's see what to call you got your ring how long you want it uh, to be before it goes to the next ring you know then you got your Delvic cache heap size and this is all customizable you got your up uh, HSPD upload speed hack and you also got 3G speed hack which makes it close to or you know makes it seem like LTE or even 4G you got your optimized TCP stack which makes it extremely fast then you got your check-in service if, if you were to see that your phone is having lag you can see uh, you can enable GPU acceleration so and going into a bot Xenon you know, this is all about you know the website, the sources, sorry, the sources. Then you can see the the developers' tweet, uh, Twitter page, and it also give you a link to donate to them. So, guys, this is the end of the first section, and I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. And if you want me to review anything for the Galaxy Note, such as apps, games, uh, review of the ROMs, or even review of the kernel, please put your comments and like uh, comments on below, and don't forget subscribe and like peace out welcome to the second section for today which is gaming performance of this ROM today I will be showing you two games which is Beach Buggy Blitz and uh, Subway Surface so let's get right into this let's, um, as you all know, or you have played this game before, Beach Buggy Blitz is quite a. Let's do that. Beach Buggy Blitz is one of the most intensive graphic game. It uses a lot of graphics to render the car and the driver. As you can see the transitionings are relatively smooth, 
as I forgot to say earlier in the video, but this ROM is using the 10.1 kernel, uh, a CM 10.1 kernel, use, which uses the latest graphics, uh, which is the uses the updated graphics, sorry, for the Mali 400 MP. That means you will see um, close to or equal to um, graphic performance as the S3. However, the S3 will always be better because S3 has an overclocked um, GPU, whereas this kernel does not overclock the GPU, it just makes it maximum to 267, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, even though it's not overclocked, as you can see, when I crashed onto the house, the rendering does not make it lag, the, the, the explosion of the house does not make it lag in any way. So, you know, it's still decent gaming. You can see transitioning from one area to another area does not cause any lag. Yes, we got it. As you can see the waterfall did not make the phone lag in any way. So I think the kernel or the developer has done a good job in optimizing this game for the I mean this kernel for the Galaxy Note. So let's go on to the second game which is subway surfers and this game is not to say a really graphical intensive game but you know i've seen videos on galaxy node which uses the original touchwiz maybe which uses the touchwiz rom the stock and it lags quite a lot when you're jumping to trains to train or uh, up down sliding up or i mean uh, sliding or jumping up from barriers and yeah you can see I just got the latest update, the mine version. I haven't really played this game yet, I just installed it moments ago to show you guys. And we are going to... You can see going from, I mean, the next track, next track. The transitioning from the next track to the next track is not laggy. I can double tap for hoverboard, but I'll save that for later. You can see very minimal lag. Which means I'm just that big up here. So you can see even even when the train came, it it didn't create much lag. Actually it didn't create any lag. So I mean, it's safe to say that this kernel is worthy of being a gaming kernel. However, Hydrocore or those latest speed mod and stuff like that, new kernel is better at doing this kind of stuff. So guys, that is the end of the gaming performance of the ROM. If you want me to elongate this section other than the first section, please tell me all in the comments below. If you want me to review anything, please tell me in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. So guys, this means the end for this session and a start for the third session which is battery performance of the ROM. Guys, it seems that we're in the last session for today which is the battery performance of this ROM and I'm gladly to tell you that the performance for this ROM is amazing. Sorry, the gaming performance, sorry, the battery performance. Of this rom is amazing i've been watching movies calling texting and doing all the whatsapping thing with internet on for about three hours and it has dreamed about um from seven sorry from 90 percent all the way up to 30 percent within three hours of open screen i'm saying that i watch movies for like i don't know four hours and then i was texting uh heavy texting and heavy uh whatsapping oh sorry that's the wrong one um, battery, yeah. As I was saying, extreme WhatsApping, WhatsApping like mm, quite a half of the time from here to here watching movies. Then it gradually went as I went to WhatsApping and and uh, Facebooking. So you can see the screen time has been near three hours for me. It's awesome, and yeah, I think that this ROM makes good for daily users. 
but keep in mind as I said earlier uh, numerous times that this form is at its first stage meaning that there are bugs such as uh, permission management from the settings force closes and the toggle sometimes does not work if you were to be in the orientation mode it wouldn't really you know sometimes it go off alignment but you know for the first build uh, the developer Black Prince has done a really good job and you know, if you want to support him go down to his page, his website all the links will be in the description below um, XDA and support him, give a thanks to him and yeah um, so this ends the review today and um, I'll be coming up with a video hopefully in the next week about the gaming performance and Hopefully when the ROM, when a new ROM comes out or any ROM which has not been reviewed, I'll review it and I'll put it up to my channel. We want to uh, get front row seats or I don't know, uh, first access, the first viewer. Please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot and don't forget to like them. And yeah, hope you have a nice day and peace out.